Okay, this is what we're going to be doing. Um, I put on a new valve to this setup. What I'm going to be doing is using this valve here to relieve the pressure in the chamber so we can do some detonations at atmospheric pressure. This valve here injects the gas and um, this is the electrode. I have a lens set up in front of the pressure gauge this time thanks to Mescal. Um, I never thought of that for some reason. I had the lens in my closet just going to waste. So thanks to him you're gonna get to see this the way we should have been looking at it the first time. I'm gonna also do some slow motion on this. I'm gonna start out with detonating five cc's of HHO by itself with no air. So what I'm gonna do now is flood this tube out to make sure it's just gas. Okay this is five cc's of HHO at atmospheric pressure no air not very impressive I talked to a guy who says he has an engine running at 10 liters per minute on um, HHO a 3600 rpm engine so basically his engines running on 5.3 cc's per combustion cycle so this time we're gonna do the detonation using some air in it. Okay, here's five cc's with 10 cc's of air at atmospheric pressure. Big. difference there I need to find my safety goggles I think definitely a big difference we're gonna try that one more time uh-oh I think I got a hydrogen flame going in here. Yeah, I do. This thing is super hot. There's 15 cc's of gas. I'm going to skip the 10. I don't think there's any point in doing that. I need to shield my screen from shrapnel. Hopefully this works. Here we go. Nice right, closed. Not so impressive. The 15 cc's of pure gas looks the same as the 5 cc's of gas with 10 cc's of air. Okay, I'm going to do 15 cc's of gas with some air. I'm going to go just 10 cc's of air because I don't have much detonation room in my cylinder. We're going to check that out. Let me just clear on that.
Not all that impressive at all. Okay. We'll do a couple more tests here. We'll pull in 5 cc's of air with that 20 cc's of gas. And I'm going to compress it with a rubber band now. See if any type of uh, change is noticed. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is a fairly pressurized of just HHO. That seemed like a pretty good one. Uh, if that would have had an air mix in it, it probably would have been pretty hot. We'll do one more. That was like 25 cc's of slightly pressurized gas. About 23 cc's of slightly pressurized HHO. Okay, here we go. One more big shot. Just so we can get an idea of the materials that we would need to build something to handle a certain amount of gas. I'm not at all impressed with HHO, by the way. There's awesome torches, though. I gotta say that. Makes the best torch I ever had. There's 25 cc's of pressure. Um, no air mix, again. That was a fairly decent one. This time I'm going to let air in. And this is an air mix of 21 cc's at pressure, 5 cc's of air. The big finale. Hope you got what you were looking for. That was the best of all. Zero pressure, leftover air mix in there. All I did was open the relief valve, turn on the gas valve for a second, and shut it. Okay, this is a static pressure test. We tried it one last time to get a gauge reading on this thing. And go. Static test number two. Okay, that last shot looks like it generated 40 PSI. You can barely see the needle. 